This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. This is the first episode in what I hope is going to be an occasional video series, a series that celebrates those whiskies that come along once in a while, every now and again, and we can genuinely celebrate them as hero whiskies. Now what makes them a hero whisky? It has to be something to do with the presentation, it has to be to do with their availability. Maybe people are talking about it and if they're not, perhaps they should be talking about it. But the most important thing is, is that they represent good value for money. Now the first episode for a hero whisky is good news for a couple of reasons. It's core range, it's very, very easy to pick up and inexpensive. And despite me paying less than £30 for my first bottle, I would suggest this is a 9 out of 10 whiskey. <laughs> Remember, you don't only ever need to take my opinion for these reviews. There will always be links to other reviewers down in the description box below so that you can uh, get more than just one man's opinion before you go out and spend your money. Also feedback to me if you think that there are other whiskies that you think qualify as hero whiskies. Leave it in the comments below and get the discussion going down there and add a bit of value to the community as well. Let me tell you the backstory to this one. I'm excited about this. This is a whiskey I'm familiar with. It was a friend that was coming to visit and they called up and said that they were in a whiskey shop and they were going to buy a bottle to bring along. What would I recommend? The shop owner had actually recommended this very expression. I concurred and I said, yes, it's a good one. By all means, bring it along. I don't have it. And that's what happened. When we opened it together, I was immediately struck and reminded about how good a whiskey it was. Now, it's his whiskey, he'd brought it along. It's not normal that I would go in and pour myself a second and then a third dram out the bottle, but I did because it struck me so. That very same day, I went off and bought a bottle for myself. I'm already halfway through it and I've since bought a backup bottle because I know it's going to be something I'm going to want to share and pour for everyone. I've poured it alongside other similar products in the same price range, much more expensive price range, a similar presentation and age, and not only does it stand up very well, but in a blind tasting, when I was just tasting this against some of my favourite whiskies, I was picking this out quite regularly as my favourite. It is that good. This is Glen Cadam's 10 year old. Now let me tell you, and let me try and justify why I think this qualifies as a hero whisky. The first thing is, you can buy this in almost any specialist retailer. You can buy this online very, very easily. It's available everywhere. It's very widely distributed. It's got a lovely age statement on there telling us that the youngest component in this bottle is 10 years old, but it goes further than that. They present it at 46% ABV. And what that allows them to do is use non-aggressive, non-chill filtration. That means that they're not taking anything out of the whiskey. And Glencadam, well done. You write that on the front of the bottle, unchill filtered. They go one step further than that. They don't add any colouring to this. This gorgeously pale colour that's in this bottle is fully natural. And again, on the label, it said no added colouring. This is perfect presentation on a lovely natural Scotch malt whisky from the Eastern Highlands. Now, I haven't discovered Glen Cadam 10. This has been around for a while. Ralphie's review goes back at least maybe close to three years, I think. But it, sometimes it takes this kind of presentation and this kind of value, and honestly, Glen Cadam is still underrated, to start a bit of a discussion and talk about it and talk about how good this is. To mention Ralphie again, he gave their 15 year old as Whiskey of the Year a couple of years ago. So there are people talking about this whiskey already, another stamp of a hero whiskey. But not only is this core range and widely distributed, I paid £29 for this. Now that was on offer when I went back and bought my backup bottle because now it's one of these staples, one of these whiskies that I always want to have on hand. I paid a wee bit more, it was £34 or £35. This is fantastic value for money for this whisky at this age and this presentation. Now Glen Cadam is an Eastern Highland distillery owned by Angus Dundee. Angus Dundee also owned Tom and Towel in Speyside. 
Now, the interesting thing about Glen Cadam is that the majority of the presentation out there is exactly what we've been asking for. It's one of the producers uh, offering Glen Cadam as a distillery that's presented naturally, very much towards the enthusiast. And that's the type of policies, that's the type of presentation of malt that I want to celebrate and have people engaging with whiskey that's very, very natural. But it has to be more than that, doesn't it? It has to just be something that is also very good quality and engaging. Let's talk about when it gets into that glass. We're presented with something that's very natural, very light, highland, crisp, clean style. There's a nice floral element. There's malty, inviting notes. It's quite spirity. It reminds you of kind of peaches and apricots and syrup. It, it brings in a bit of sweetness there as well. The fruit switches and flickers. It's sometimes a wee bit aromatic. Sometimes it's bright and fresh. There's lots of clean linen. There's a lovely, gorgeous, malty texture to it. And it's one of those whiskies that I would say is Moorish. As soon as you finish it, you want to go back again and have another wee sip. This is delightful stuff. And I think that when you have a collection where you have peated whiskies and heavily sherried whiskies and big, bold flavours, I think it's fantastic to contrast those with something that's light, clean and delicate. I mean, this is almost, by contrast, linen fresh. This is wonderful, wonderful whisky. And I honestly think that the way I'm enjoying this whisky right now, it qualifies it as a 9 out of 10. And to be able to pick it up at that price point, I think qualifies Glen Cadam 10 as a hero whiskey. If you've enjoyed recommendations from me in the past, such as Deanston 12 and the like, I think you're going to enjoy this whiskey. It's beautifully elegant, beautifully clean. It finishes on that lovely, most delicate, spicy note. Adding water does bring out some of the kind of lighter notes. It does bring out a wee bit more fruit, I would say. But I think that bizarrely, at 46%, it doesn't need or ask for water. It's very, very enjoyable, just the way it is. I almost feel like I should be promising, buy it, and if you don't enjoy it, I'll buy it back from you. But I've got a feeling I'm already going to have plenty Glencadam 10 on hand all the time. Glencadam, well done. I think Glencadam 10-year-old qualifies as a hero whiskey. I hope you're able to pick up a bottle of Glencadam 10 where you are. And if you do, feed back to me in the comments below what you thought of it. Also feed back to me what other whiskies you feel might qualify to be celebrated and talked about in the context of being a hero whiskey. Until the next episode in this kind of occasional series, I'll raise a glass and say well done Glencadam and Slanchava. Wee bit of aniseed, wee bit of licorice, gentle spice. Slight bitterness there as well, but it's nice bitterness. Oh, this is good. £35 or less as well. There's just nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs>